Hey, it's me, Questar, and in this video, I'm doing the extreme starting room challenge on Buried. And this is going to be a very interesting extreme starting room challenge, maybe the most interesting in this whole entire series. So for those of you who are new to this series, the rules of this challenge is that you get five rounds to go around the map, get set up, and just get anything you need before round five, then after round five, you have to be back in the starting room and survive as long as you can with what you have. And another thing is that I cannot use the bank, but other than that, anything's fair game, so let's get into this! What's most interesting about this map for the Extreme Shining Challenge is that it's actually really hard to get back to the spawn room, you have to actually teleport back here and you'll be down in this area, and we can't really get back up in this area unless we get the Paralyzer. And so we're, we're gonna do this. There we go, we get 1,000 points just for doing that. We're gonna need Quick Revive. We are definitely gonna need Leroy. There we go, got the power on too. Um, what do I want? And I'm not gonna take any of these just because I'm gonna try as hard as I can to get the Paralyzer. If anything, I might get the AN-94 though, if I really need a good weapon. Alright. We may as well build the head chopper now while the zombies are slow. Alright, so Leroy's gonna build us the head cutter, whatever it's called. And there it is, a head chopper. We got the head chopper. Should I hit the box right now? Maybe risking myself getting a bad weapon? Or should I get the AN-94? No, I'm I'm gonna go for the box, I'm gonna risk it. Pine bomb, yes. Dude, actually. That might have been the best thing we could have gotten, to be honest. Because if we make a mistake, or if we get something we don't want from the box, I can just go right back to now, and then it's as if it never happened. So this actually might have been the best thing we could have gotten. Wow, this time bomb changes the whole game. Ah, oh, I don't want this sniper though. Oh my, yes! Yes! No way! That is huge! I'm gonna go to the witch's house right now. But like, I have zero points right now, so... It's not like I'm gonna lose anything from the witches. I mostly want Vulturade. You played yourself. Oh wait, I just realized I can't open this yet. Okay. I'm gonna have to do that next round then. Okay. Okay. That will be pretty useful. Here we go, get a free perk right here. Here we go. So I didn't need to spend my points, because I I was just preparing to get I was just preparing for the worst. Let's see what I get. Let's go! No way! We got full trade! No way! This challenge is going perfectly right now. This is not even gonna be fair. Like the, I have a wicked setup. And I didn't even use the bank. All I really even care to have now is a ray gun mark II. Let's hit the box a couple times. Nope, don't want it. If we get the ray gun, we cannot possibly get the ray gun mark II. If that was my last hit and I knew I wasn't going to get the ray gun mark II, I would have taken it though. What is this? Oh, sh shoot. I forgot. I forgot that the monkeys replaced the time bombs. So now I grab the monkeys. Dude, that could have been ripped for this challenge. Alright, one more hit. If we don't get the ray gun mark II, using the time bomb. Nope. Going back in time. Um, Glil, I'll take it. it he, they can give me the regular mark too. I'd be a happy man. If they don't, I mean, I already have enough. Dude, Galil or Hammer? That's honestly tough. I'm gonna say Hammer just because there's more ammo. But yeah, they're, they're two really good weapons. Here. We. Go. Starting the challenge for real now. I don't really know where the zombies are going to be spawning from, so it's going to be pretty tough the first couple rounds. But once I know where to be, this is going to be really, really, really easy. Let's paralyze it up right here. Yeah, see, this paralyzer almost, yeah, it's overheating, so it's not going to be too easy, I don't think. All right, round seven. I got my strategy down. I just hope my Voltre is actually going to work and actually protect me from these zombies. Does the, does the green mist not come when you're up here? 
I don't know, because I haven't seen one zombie with the green mist. And right when I said that, a zombie with the green mist comes. We got max ammo, you know what that means. Yeah, I'm gonna say if we somehow fall into there during this challenge, it's an automatic death. Automatic game over if we fall in there. I really want to do this challenge on every single zombie's map. I mean, I want to do every zombie's map from every... Every track. Oh no! Go! Nuke. Yes. Yes. No! No! Get it. Oh my gosh. I think I got the strategy down. So, I gotta train some zombies. And then, after I train some zombies, I can attack them with my paralyzer. Uh oh, uh oh. Why did I why did I come over here? Why did I come over here? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, 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 no. Nope. Hold on. No! Get away! No, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away. I need to get my life back in order. And you would think that Voltrade would be doing its job, but <laughs> to my surprise, Voltrade really isn't helping that much. And the green mist isn't showing up as much as I wish it would. How come I haven't been getting any drops? Does the Paralyzer not drop drops? Seriously? Does the Paralyzer not drop drops? I'm honestly kind of skeptical. Okay guys, so I have this little stone thing I just picked up right here. And I can add it... And I can add it right here. What does this do? I'm not going to do it just because I'm, I'm not sure what it does. So I have a feeling that maybe it might take me back to the actual map. So I don't want to risk anything. So just tell me in the comments, what does that do? I mean, if it's something that would have helped me, then I, I guess I'll regret not doing that. Uh-oh, no! Here's what I'm thinking. If I'm about to die, pull out my time bomb. No! Are you kidding me? I got the thing out. I pulled my time bomb out. All in all, that was way harder than I... Thought it was gonna be I thought this would be a piece of cake don't get me wrong it was still very easy but I thought it was gonna be way easier than that but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm glad it was actually a challenge I'm really glad it was a challenge I'm glad I actually died when I was actually trying where some, some of my others I died just because I got bored where this one it was actually not one of the easiest extreme trying challenges but again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing the challenge on every single map at some point in my YouTube career. So, just look forward to that. Even the really hard World of War maps. I don't know. I know World of War version of those is going to be extremely hard. So, I might do the Black Ops 3 versions of those. And then that will be what I do. I don't know. Anyways, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed anything that I've done. And subscribe to Clayster Streams if you miss a stream that I've done and you want to watch it for some weird reason. Follow me on Twitter at the Claystar, and yeah, that's really all I got for you guys. So with that, I'll see you in the next video.